And traveling over the water is safer this morning in California. The eastern span of the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge is now open. It's built to look good and more importantly withstand a massive earthquake. John Blackstone shows us how the bridge's cutting edge technology could save lives. A blowtorch marked the opening of the new span connecting San Francisco and Oakland yesterday and soon a familiar scene as traffic began to fill the lanes. So this is a big deal for especially from somebody from this area. It's great. Contractors worked around the clock over the Labor Day holiday to connect the new five lane bridge to Interstate 80. The decks of the new bridge are side by side rather than on top of each other, in part for the better views of the bay, but mostly to avoid another catastrophe like the one that occurred in 1989, when a 6.9 magnitude earthquake severed a section of the eastern span. The need for this new bridge was obvious after the 1989 earthquake knocked down a portion of the old bridge, but it's taken 24 years and more than $6 billion to get to this point. It has been a long, rocky, twisted road to, from 1989 to, uh, to now. Battles over the design, uh, battles over the alignment, battles over permitting, uh, all kinds of battles. During those years of battling over the design, the alignment, the delays, hundreds of thousands of travelers a day were going over a bridge that wasn't safe. That's right. We have been in a race against time from the very beginning. Seismic engineers who designed the new bridge say it will withstand the strongest of earthquakes, one that occurs once every 1,500 years. To show how, Caltrans produced this computer animation of the bridge riding out a large quake. First of their kind innovations are designed to take the brunt of the force, even to the point of breaking, leaving the rest of the bridge intact. The broken parts would later be replaced, faster and cheaper than fixing the entire bridge. These hinge pipe beams sit inside the bridge and connect the concrete sections of the skyway while also allowing them to move. If there is a big earthquake, uh, I think everything's going to be fine. For now, commuters can breathe a little easier when crossing over the bay, all the while enjoying their spectacular new views. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco.